Good morning, everybody. I've been asked to post health updates more often, so I'm gonna do that, but they're gonna be shorter, quicker videos, because that means I'm gonna have to post some updates when I'm not feeling good. So this week, we had Canadian Thanksgiving long weekend, and uh, unfortunately, it turned into a high anxiety weekend for me. So uh, uh, I had a reservation at Margaret's Place, the retreat that I go to. So I went there Tuesday, and I guess Tuesday when I slowed down and relaxed, it all caught up to me. I had a seizure on on Tuesday and then I had a seizure again on Wednesday. And so the last two days I've just been uh I've just been fried, like total brain fog, like I am after a seizure it usually leaves me exhausted for a few days. Uh the night the night before last, I mean, last night I only slept six hours, but the night before that I slept eleven hours, so I'm not surprised. I wasn't able to sleep as long today. And uh, so anyway, while I, every morning, I don't know if you know this about me, but I fill in my journal. There's a lot of, you can see there's a lot of things I track. And this is a great journal. And I'll see about putting a link in the description later if you want to get one. It's great for tracking cancer. Um, and it's really great. There's so many things I like about this journal. It's actually kind of fun to fill out because, uh, you know, it's irreverent and uh, it doesn't take itself too seriously. And you even have stickers in the back. You can give yourself little sticker rewards when you want. So it's just a fun thing to do. It also lets me keep track of when I went on a new medication or if they adjusted my medication, I have a place to put all that. And if I did my exercise that day, all goes in here. So I fill that out every morning as well as how, like I include how many hours sleep I got and how my mood was that day and just lots of things I put in there. So um, so this morning I woke up, every morning I, it goes the same way in my life. I wake up with a clear head and then after about two hours, I, uh, I start to get the brain fog coming. And uh, unfortunately that's about the time work starts. So, Lately, what I've been doing is while my brain is clear in the morning, I've been trying to put in an hour of work and then I'll go have a rest. And I'm starting this new system now that I talked about in my brain fog video. I have a timer on my phone. It goes off every 40 minutes while I'm working and it reminds me to do a brain check. And if I see the signs that I, I know precede a, a seizure, such as my eyes are droop, my one eye is drooping, and there's a certain feeling I get when I'm trying to think through stuff that I seem to only get on days I'm gonna have a seizure. So if I feel that coming on, I just go rest for as long as I need to rest. And then I come back when I'm feeling better and I restart the 40 minute timer for the brain check and I do that again. So I'm just gonna keep on doing that. Um, right, now, right now I'm working on designing some software that the programmers are building, so at least I'm able to keep up enough with that to keep the programmers busy. So, um, so that's uh, so I, I'm here at Margaret's place. I bring a, a portable desk, which you can't see from here, and uh, my laptop. And um, on the days my left hand doesn't work good to type, I have a little thumb keyboard I use. It's almost like an old BlackBerry keyboard but it has a trackpad on it and I can really just use that or I can just one finger type. So I have, I have ways to deal with different, uh, different issues on different days. So um, I just got back too from the restaurologist this last week. I looked at my chest CT scan again and everything about my CT scan has improved. Um, there's one area that hasn't improved much but uh, we're gonna go in and uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a tiny little hole that lets the air through in one part. It should be like this big. So he's gonna go in there with a balloon and inflate it and stretch it back out. So I have no idea how it got that way. But he says we'll stretch it back out because we don't want a part of the lung where phlegm can get trapped and infections can build, especially with my history of chest infections. So we'll be working on that. I'm still waiting for when they're gonna take this thing that gets on my vocal cords that make me sound so uh, like an old man. Um, 
Yeah, so today is, today, like I have to wake up and in about two hours, I sort of know how I'm going to feel for the day. Because whenever I wake up, I'm nice and clear headed. I'm sitting here on the porch outside my room, waiting for the sun to come up, hoping I see some deer this morning. Yesterday I saw some deer and I actually saw a black wolf run by. I'm pretty sure it's a wolf. Um, people said, you sure it's not a dog? And the tail was definitely a wolf tail. I mean, they have that big bushy tail that most big dogs do not have a big bushy tail like that, even German Shepherds. So, um, so that was kind of cool to see that right outside my room. Although I'm kind of glad I wasn't on my porch at that time. So, um, anyway, so that's just an update on how I'm doing. I haven't had a seizure in the last two days now. I'm hoping to go, um, uh, hoping to go like a week or so. I'm practicing all these mental anxiety exercises to reduce the seizures. And I was actually able to stop the seizure on Wednesday. It it started in my hand like always and tra started traveling down my arm. And I was able to stop it when I got to my elbow. But I still deal with the after effects of being so tired for a day or two. I've never had a seizure two days in a row. They've always been a week or two apart. So that's kind of concerning. I guess it's a testament to how stressful my weekend was. So, I mean, my seizures are called PNES, psych psychogenic non-epileptic seizures, and there's no drugs for them that you can take. And it's all dealt with through counseling, cognitive behavior therapy, anxiety control. So I do a lot of meditation and I do all this sort of stuff to, to uh, kind of stay, kept, because I'm a nat nat naturally anxious person. So I'm trying to get that baseline anxiety of mine way down here instead of it being up here. Because when it's up here, it doesn't take much to get it up here again, right? But if your baseline is nice and low, it takes a lot more to upset you. So that's where I want to get to, and that's why I'm doing so much of the meditation. I probably use the Headspace app four times a day. And um, it really I feel it really benefits me. And uh, some of the CBT stuff really benefits me. So, okay, I'm going to wish you all a good day. And again, I'll try to post these health updates more often. Have a good one. This is your friend, Big Northern Bear, out.